Hola, buenas noches. ¿Cómo están? Hello, good evening. How are you doing? ¿Cómo están? I am good. Okay, awesome. Then. That's fine. That's really good. So if you are good, I'm glad to hear that. So we are going to get started. Uh, give me one minute. <laughs> It's been really hot and I think that um, I've been sweating a lot and my face is like melting, right? So yeah, <clears throat> let me just turn on my camera for you. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that, right? So it's been really hot. And I've been sweating a lot and I'm just kind of this weather is not doing good for me right so we are gonna get it started once again and let me share my screen okay so donde ustedes como esta el weather está caliente está helado está it's hot. See, me hot. Yes, I feel really hot. Uh, I was sweating prior we started the class and it was really crazy. Okay, so um, yesterday we stopped it here. Um, I don't know if there will be someone who would like to participate uh, with those questions, or I don't have anyone who would like to participate. Do we continue? Me what too. should we do? Who, what? Uh, Saul. Go, Saul, please, uh, with any other questions. Yes, um, I would like to participate in question number one. Okay. And how often, how often do you think about the future? In my case, uh, I always think about my future because uh, I think a lot of goals in my, my life. And also I have uh, some dreams because uh, someday uh, I would like to travel to uh, another country. Uh, I would like to learn um, English and French. And, and also, I would like to have a, a good job. Okay. Yeah. I think that, yes, I think that all the people had um, had dreams and goals in in their life. Okay. Yes, that's certainly true, right? That's true. All right. So, someone else. Thank you, Saul. Good job. Nature, Saul. You're welcome. Okay. Someone else. Alguien más? 
Nope. No one else? Okay. All right. Do I have someone else? No? Nadie más va a participar? <clears throat> I try. I try. Do you like I to try? Go. Yes. yes. Don't be afraid. Uh, I I have I have five five questions. Uh, you can use either or one or two questions so you can answer them. Puede utilizar uh, cualquiera. Una o dos está bien. Okay. Um the five, five, five question. And okay. So where, uh, where do you see yourself in 10, 20, and 50 years from now? Uh, but in 10, in 10 or 20 years, seeing me in my house with my family, uh, I enjoying the, my, probably my grandson. Okay. Uh, and in fifty in fifty years, uh, see me in other world. I I probably uh, that I dealt. <laughs> I, I have. <laughs> you have I, passed I, away. That's I, what I, you mean. Year, years old, fifty 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 two. Oh, okay. More fifty uh, one uh, one hundred two. Yes. One hundred years. I, okay. I don't I don't think <laughs> no creo que llegaré a yeah, años. you think that you are not gonna make it up to that time. We don't know. I mean <laughs> we don't know, right? Uh, yeah. We don't know medicine is keeping on advancing, so probably yes, right? <laughs> uh yeah. Uh, okay, and um the two and um uh, four, uh, question four, what fears do you have for the future? Mm -hmm. No fear comes to my mind, really, uh, uh, because okay. I think possi possibility? Possible? Possi possible? Mm -hmm. No fear comes to my mind. No fear comes to your mind. Okay, that's good, right? Not to feel free fear about the future. Thank you. So yeah, maybe we will see us in 102 years, right? Probablemente nos veamos todos en unos 102 años, right? We don't know. We don't know. It's a possibility, right? It's a possibility. So yeah, thank you. Good job, Rufino. Truly appreciate it. Thank you. Gracias por tomar la oportunidad, verdad? Muy bien hecho. So someone else. Tengo a alguien más o hasta ahí? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Hi, teacher. Uh, number five. Okay. Will you see yourself in 10, 20, and 50 years from now? Okay. Uh, in 10 years, uh, maybe I will be uh, live in USA. Okay. And twenty and twenty years, I be businessman. Okay. And fifty years, I be grandfather. You might be a grandfather in fifty years. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so different in opposite from what Rufino said, right? Being different in opposite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe, right? Maybe that's okay. a possibility. Thanks, teacher. You are welcome. Thank you to you for participating. So, someone else? Alguien más? Hi, teacher. Okay, good evening, go. teacher. Hey, good evening. Uh, interrogative number one. Okay. How often do you think about the features? Mm -hmm. uh, every day. Okay. When I plan, plan. Go. What, I am going to do. Okay. Uh, the feature is 
inserta en incertidumbre, o sea, no saber. Uncertain. 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 El no saber qué nos espera. Only teacher. Good job. Ok, gracias. Muy amables, ¿verdad? All right, do I have someone else? So that's it. Go, Byron. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Number one, how mm -hmm. often do you think about the future? Mm -hmm. After finish last model, I going have to work for buying a house, buying a car, and help okay. my family. All right. Yes. You think Only about that. the future a lot. All right. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Totally fine, right? Okay. So if you see that I turn off the camera, I'm sorry, but <laughs> the sweat is been doing not good to my body, so um, I have a scratch, right? So I have like a kind of rush. So uh, let's see. Someone else. Alguien más? Me, teacher. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. In my case, uh, is a uh... Question number two, mm -hmm. what do you do hope for your own future? Mm -hmm. uh, for my own future, I would like to live for 125 years because, <laughs> <laughs> okay. because I, I would like to, to give a lot of advice uh, to my to my granddaughter in okay. in my in my children uh, okay. because uh, one one day uh, I consider they need an advice to me. <laughs> okay. Yes. Only that teacher. All right. Good job. All right, someone else or that's it? Alguien más o eso sería todo? Me, teacher, I want to participate in, in question number five. Which one, I'm sorry? Uh, question number five. To whom is making that sound? Alguien está en el teléfono. Que le están enviando notificaciones. Mm, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. The first time uh, there were just the interference for notifications, but please go. Okay. Okay. And I would like to participate in question number five. Where do you see yourself in 10, on 20, and 50 years from now? Um, I think that it is very difficult uh, to think um, about the future because we have some goals and some cases uh, we achieve. Uh, all goals and another case uh, we don't achieve achieve all goals but mm -hmm. in some cases uh, uh, I can be frustrated for that reason okay yeah only that only that okay thank you so much do I have mm -hmm. someone else or that's it yeah, thank that's you it. So, okay. Nadie más? All right. Si no tengo a nadie más, eh, veamos. Um, here I have some things that I found. Uh, this one is future, 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 right? So this phrase that one of your partners says is when I plan, when I plan, this is plan, plan. Así como se ve, así suena, verdad? Plan, plan. Uh, this phrase, right? I heard something. I cannot remember exactly what I heard, but I write it down the completely. Uh, the whole phrase, it is the future is uncertain. The future is uncertain. The future is uncertain. 
The correct pronunciation of this verb is think. Think, think, think. No es teen. Teen, porque teen es delicado. Es es think, think, think. Lleva una K al final y un sonido bastante peculiar, peculiar I'm sorry, que es, es think, think, think. Esta palabra se pronuncia own, 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 own. ¿verdad? Eh, lleva entre una O y una U eh, dentro de la misma. Entonces es own, own, own. So uh, this one, right? Is that phrase. It will be I consider, right? I consider they will need an advice. I consider they will need an advice. So this other is when we are giving options, right? Uh, like uh, what you said at the end, Saul. Uh, you said, first of all, in some cases, right? Um, in some cases, we are able to achieve our goals. Y para que se oiga más natural, but in the other hand, we are not able to do it. So, para que se oiga un poco diferente en lugar de repetir lo mismo. So, pueden utilizar in the other hand. ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, eso sería todo lo que yo escuché. So, that's it. Uh, we are going to continue because, um, as you might notice, this is almost uh, the middle, right? So I need to continue so I can go ahead and give you the whole unit. I was planning to have a conversation with you regarding to something else, and I think we are still having time. And let's see, uh, 50 years of feds, right? So... Do you have any interesting childhood memory? Do you remember something from your childhood? For example, we have here a timeline from the 50s up to the early 20s, right? So here we have a timeline. Do you have any childhood memory? Any good childhood memory with any of these pictures? Aquí tenemos una línea de tiempo desde pues casi de los finales de los 50 hasta un poco de los principios de los 2000, ¿verdad? O de los 20s en este caso. Um, ¿Tienen ustedes alguna, pues, algún recuerdo de su infancia con respecto a alguno de estos artículos que ustedes ven acá o imágenes? Do you remember something? The coup. The rubric coops. Yes. Did you have one? Nunca lo pude armar. You never were able to do it. <laughs> you were not able to fix it. Okay. Yeah. I never had had a rubric coop, right? So, yeah. Okay. How old were you when you have the rubric coop? If it's possible to know. ¿Cuántos años tenía cuando tuvo su cubo de rubric? Si se puede saber. Good evening, teacher. Como 15. 15? You were 15? Okay. Yes. All right. That's good. Hey, good evening, Renita. All right. Yeah. All right. So do you have any good memory with any of this? The Pokemons. The Pokemons? Yeah, right? The Pokemons. Still, right? They are like a kind of sensation, right? The Pokemons mm -hmm. with everything that they have launched or the merchandise that they have. Yeah, I can remember the Pokemons. I think uh, when they started to, to broadcasting them in the national TV here in El Salvador, it was the, uh, the 2000s almost like that so i watched them right so i watched them someone else alguien más 
me teacher i remember the, the rubik cube the rubik cube um, okay um pokemon the movies and the pokemon movies yes all right yeah that's true right thank you yeah so yeah it's been a long time ago someone else someone else does any of the ladies here um, that we have here, right? Did you have a, a Barbie or your grandma had a Barbie or your mama have a Barbie like these ones? Not the ones that now are in the market, right? Like these ones, the very first Barbies. Did you have a Barbie like this? ¿Alguna de las eh, señoritas que tenemos acá tuvo alguna Barbie como esta? No como las que tenemos ahora en el mercado, sino que así como estas. O tal vez la mamá o la abuelita que le haya contado. Anyone? I think I had two of them. You got Just two of them? Yes, a black, uh, a black skin Barbie. Barbie? And, mm -hmm. and the other one, like normal, <laughs> the classic. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. The figure that we are used to. Okay. Yes. Someone? Yes. 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 ¿Alguien sí. más tiene alguna memoria de esto? Mi teacher, oh. I remember I have Rubik. The Rubik Cup? Yes. Okay. The Rubik Cups. Okay. Also good. Does any of your parents, uh, grandmothers or parents have told you something about the, the disco balls or the disco dance? Do you yes. remember something? Yes. Now. Yes. My father, they dancing this. Oh, really? They yes. dance this music. Okay. Yes. So you know what is really funny because my mom keeps some pictures from my dad uh, when he used to work in the teleférico. He used to work in the teleférico, my dad. <laughs> <laughs> and he had really? uh, those mm -hmm. pants uh, that they are like the well those pants that now are once again on trendy right that they have the the bell feeling right in the in the in the legs um, yeah tenemos unas fotos que tienen así como que lo que está ahora de moda de las de los pantalones a campana so my mom has my mom has one from my dad <laughs> like that so yeah <laughs> it's very funny right so yes okay so Aleli, you raise your hand go oh yes i remember and my uncles i have the poster the the bgs uh and much posters the music the da the disco the disco music yes, yes. So you just yeah, only remember, go ahead. Uh, uh, todas las paredes de su cuarto forradas <laughs> con oh, los posters the wall. The de música uh, de los BGs especialmente, sí. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they were... Uh, John Travolta and Sarah, Saturday uh, Tonight. Fever Saturday at night. Uh, Fever Saturday like Tonight. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I yeah. remember that movie. They are still playing on the TV, I think, uh, that movie, right? With him, with John Travolta. Yes, I remember that. I remember uh, watching them when I was uh, a kid because my dad loves that music too, right? So especially from them too, so yeah. Um, in the center of San Salvador, do you remember that they were people that sell posters? that they pasted on the wall. And while you were on the bus, uh, you can see all of these people selling the posters. 
alguien que haya ido por el centro de San Salvador, que haya visto que están, este, bueno, habían unos vendedores, no sé si todavía, que en todas las paredes ponían posters. No sé si ustedes alguna yes, vez lo vieron. Yes. Yes, I remember. Yes. I remember. Uh, yeah. Allá por la, por the cathedral, I guess. Um, I don't know. Por Simán. Yes, Simán. Simán, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Definitely I do remember it. Okay, someone from the early 2000s. Alguien de los 2000 that remembers this. Okay, Goldis. Well, I remember watching the Twilight movies. I didn't read the books, but I remember uh, I saw the the movies and I watched the the Lost shows. Okay. And that's it. I it wasn't that good, but it was really <laughs> long. I remember. <laughs> yeah, that's her. That's it. Mm-hmm. That Lost. Uh, it was a was not a sitcom. It was just uh, it was, it was a serious, about an right? uh, an airplane accident. They they were they lost get lost in, a, in, a, in, in an island. island. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And but it was too long to. Yes, it was too long and confusing yeah. to watch. I remember yeah, exactly. That. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I was just only one Twilight movie on the movie theater and I guess it was the number the number two I think yo me acuerdo que vi una sola película de ellos en el en el cine y creo que fue la dos I cannot remember <laughs> yeah from the vampires right yes. okay thank you Luis good job gracias muy amables someone else that who would like to participate alguien más a quien le gustaría participar Okay. Teacher, I watched uh, the Twilight movies. You watch, I'm sorry? The Twilight movies. All, All of the them? Twilight. Yes, but my favorite is the first one. The favorite one is the first one. Yes, I think it uh, was one of the best ones. Yeah, I think it's better. <laughs> it's not much drama. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think in the movie they increased the drama thing, right? But in reality, on the books, there was not such a drama, right? They were like a more um, adulting people thinking, right? <laughs> kind of <Okay>. critical. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm so sorry. Do you have all the books? No, I didn't have all the books. What I did it is I downloaded them. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't encourage you to do it, right? But um, Christ and moments <laughs> require oh, difficult okay. decisions. <laughs> I, yeah. I imagine. <laughs> yeah, they were kind of, uh, I mean, if you buy books, books are expensive. I have to say that, right? Even yeah. though if the cover is hard or soft, uh, is they are expensive. I both, uh, some of the books that I have, I bought them in the secondhand books there in San Salvador Center. Mm -hmm. uh, now they have removed all of these people that used to sell uh, secondhand books. So I used to buy them there. And I remember I bought one in La Ceiba. And that's been the only one I did both, like a brand new book. And it is the Gage and Memoirs, right? Las Memorias de una Gage. In, la Ceiba? in the so library. Sorry. Yes, the library, La Ceiba. Yes, I remember okay. buying that one there. Um, I said the, the short. <laughs> no, 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 La Ceiba de Guadalupe. The, the <laughs> library is called that, La Ceiba. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Library. Yeah. They have really good stuff. Tienen cosas muy buenas, right? You can find different books there. And the thing is that they are not cheap, right? If you would like to really read something, they are not cheap. I'm mm -hmm. a very reading person. I love to read. But most of the time, what I used to do is reading uh, the books 
on PDF format, right? Getting from other people or try to download it from the internet or something because they are really expensive. So if you really want to read, um, you need to spend the money, right? And at the end, if you sell them, you cannot sell them from the same price. You need to lower the price, right? Here in Salvador, it's really difficult. We don't have a, like a kind of a culture where you can have your own, like a library with everything there, right? Like a public library or something, or you can have a room, especially for having your library, right? So your mm -hmm. own library at home. So yeah, but I like it, right? I did like the, the books. The books were really nice. Me too. I think the same. Yeah, so yes. Well, this is the past, right? So we are going to be talking about the past and the future, combining them together, right? We have talked about the future. What do you think about your future, right? Uh, some people say that the future, you don't have to think about it. You are going to get stressed. I think uh, it's good to think about the future and good to think about the past, right? Um, not only for the funniest stuff like this ones, but also thinking about history, right? Eh, creo que pensar en el futuro es bueno, pensar en el pasado también lo es, eh, no solamente por estas cosas que nos traen buenas memorias, sino que también en la historia, ¿verdad? En la historia de lo que lleva todo, ¿verdad? De nosotros, de nuestro país, de los pueblos, etc. So, yeah. Ah, ¿Tengo alguien más que quiera participar o proseguimos? ¿Proseguimos? Okay, I'm gonna take the silent as a continue. Ponemos el silencio como un continue. Okay, we are gonna listen to this conversation. We are gonna listen part eight just for now. And please pay attention to what they say, the structure that they use. And if you have any questions regarding to the vocabulary, please let me know. Vamos a escuchar esta conversación. Solo la parte A por ahora. Por favor, pónganle atención a ella. Y me dejan saber si tienen alguna pregunta con vocabulario o estructura al final de ella. Y ahorita les pongo. ¿Qué pasó? Hoy no lo quiere poner. Cuando te niegas a trabajar. How's been your day? Was good or tired as well? ¿Cómo estuvo su día hoy? ¿Estuvo bien? ¿Estuvo cansado? In my case, it was tired because I, I was working. You were working? Ah, and you were yes, sick? Mm. <laughs> I'm so sorry yeah. for you. I know how you feel, right? Yeah. Well, my day was like the weather, right? Hot. <laughs> it was a crazy day, but Anyways, right, we are almost at the end. Let's see if you are able to hear the audio. Let's see. Okay. Unit 10, the past. Are you able to hear that? Yes, teacher. Yes. And the future. Page 64, Exercise 2, Conversation. I'm good at history. Part A, Listen and Practice. Look, here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give it a try. I'm good at history. All right, first question. When did World War I begin? I think it began in 1917. Huh. And how long has the United Nations been in existence? Uh, since Kennedy became president in 1961. Hmm, next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980, so they were together for 15 years. So, how am I doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. Okay. All right, then. Would you like to hear once again? Yes, please. Yes, teacher. Yes. Please. Yes, please. Unit 10, 
the past, and the future. Page 64, Exercise 2, Conversation. I'm good at history. Part A. Listen and practice. Look, here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give it a try. I'm good at history. All right. First question. When did World War I begin? I think it began in 1917. Huh. And how long has the United Nations been in existence? Uh, since Kennedy became president in 1961. Hmm. Next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980, so they were together for 15 years. So, how am I doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. Okay. We'll revise, right? So, questions? Is this fine? Preguntas, estamos bien? Teacher, yeah. how did you say became? In Spanish. Became? This one? Yes. Okay. Uh, con, se convirtió, convertir. Okay. Acá sería convertir en presidente, ¿verdad? Si lo traduce totalmente al español. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. ¿Alguien más? ¿Alguien más? ¿No? ¿No? ¿All good? Yes, teacher. All good. Ok. ¿Can I have All two good. volunteers? All right, thank you. ¿Can I have two volunteers that can perform the conversation. Thank you, Elizabeth. You're going to be Emma. Do I have someone else? Tengo alguien más que quiera acompañar a Elizabeth? M me, teacher, Byron. Okay, Byron, you are going to be Steve. Steve. Yes. <sighs> so, there you go. Yes. I think. Look, here a quiz on events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give it's a tribe. I am good at, at history. All right. First question. When did war war I began being? <laughs> <laughs> I think it began in 1917. Huh. And how long they has the United Nations been in ex in existence? Um, since Kennedy became president in 1961. Mm, next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980. So they were together for 15 years. So how am I doing so far? Am I doing not so very far? well? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. Sorry. Okay. Not one. All right. Good job, right? Buen trabajo. Lo hicieron bien. Gracias, Arsenio, por acordarme de la asistencia. <laughs> Perdón, ¿verdad? A mí se me va. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just let you know, right, the corrections, and we are going to take the attendance. So this one, here's, here's, here's a quiz, here's a quiz, right? Here's, here's. Sin la S sería here. And si fuera toda la oración completa, o bueno, en este caso sin la contracción, diría here is a quiz. 
right? Pero como tenemos una contracción es here's a quiz. All right, so then we got this one, war, war, one, right? War, war, one. Esta palabra casi suenan homófonos, pero no, esto es war, y el otro es war. War, war, one, okay? So this one, existence, 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 existence. ¿Se escucha la X? Sí, se escucha la X. ¿Se escucha la I? Sí, también se escucha la I. Al final la E no se escucha porque se escucha como una I. Existence, existence. So be careful. Uh, this one, became, became. Became, became, became. Uh, and then uh, we have just only those ones. Y de ahí pues solamente tenemos esas, ¿verdad? Para que eh, en el caso de las oraciones eh, sean efectivos los sonidos, tenemos que recordar un poquito, ¿verdad? Y ya les paso la asistencia, no se me ha olvidado. Vamos a recordar un poquito. Eh, voy a borrar esto por acá. Este y este amiguito. La M y la N. Entonces, eh, la M va a tener el sonido de M, M. Y la N tiene el sonido de N, N. Entonces, cuando ustedes me pronuncian eh, en el caso de este verbo become o became, este, ustedes van a abrir y cerrar tanto pues eh, los labios, ¿verdad? Entonces es became, 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 became. Y se escucha ese m mm de la m, ¿verdad? Entonces para que tengamos un poquito de cuidado ahí, igual como la n, ¿verdad? En la n es un poco más una sonrisa. En, 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 más allá de juntar pues los labios, es m. So, eso sería todo con respecto a eso y esta eh, contraction ¿verdad? que tenemos acá. Y vamos a la tendencia. Veamos, Aisa was talking, Aleli is here. Yeah. Anita Rodríguez, I saw you, right? Present teacher. Thank you. Anita Romero, as well, I saw you, right? Present teacher. There you go. Present. Here you go, Blanquita, I haven't heard you Present. today. Thank you. Carlos Portilla, I didn't saw you to came in. No lo vi. Present. Entrar. Thank you. Carlos Roberto, I know that you are here. Cristina, you are here? Yes, I am here. Thank you, Cristina. Damaris, I haven't seen you today. Damaris? Damaris? No, okay. They I'm see? here. You're there. Okay. Thank you. Oh, who is here? Daisy or the mice? Oh, the mice. Daisy, you're here? Present teacher. Thank you, Daisy. Elizabeth, just talk to me. Elmer, Present. talk to me. I'm here. here, teacher. Thank you. Eduardo, Moran. Eduardo, I haven't seen your picture today. You're there? Eduardo? I saw that he used Eduardo in lugar de, de Luis. Let's see, Eduardo, 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 Eduardo. Elizabeth, enter. No, he's not here. Okay. Yes, that's fine. I know that you are here. Está bien, Carlos. Yo sé que usted está acá. So, Eduardo is not here today. Uh, Luis Miguel, talk to me. Madeleine, talk to me. Madeleine, you're here. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Maria, I know you are here. I'm here, teacher. Yes. Reinita, I know you are here. Rufino, he is here. Sandrita, you are here? Here. I'm here, okay. teacher. Thank you. Uh, Saul, I know you are here. Wendy, I haven't heard you today. You're here? She's here, but she's not answering yours. I'm okay. here. Well, thank you. Thank you, Wendy. Truly appreciate it. Le aprecio mucho. So, there we go. All right, then. So, we are going to study this uh, from this 
um, dialogue, it's going to be a point of a period of time in the past. We are going to start using during and ago. We are gonna use since and for as well, right? And from and to. So we are gonna get started with this. Uh, give me one second, because I just prepared the document, but not in the way I wanted to prepare. And I wanna ask you in a, a question while I'm doing that, have you ever studied these time markers? ¿Alguna vez estudiaron estos marcadores de tiempo o no? Yes, no? Yes, I studied. I'm sorry, teacher, but I can see the uh, marker time. Yes, uh, I just stopped uh, sharing because I want to do something on the document that I have. Uh, I didn't have enough time to just modify it. So I'm modifying it at the moment. But the, mm -hmm. for example, the time markers for and since, have you ever studied them? Los marcadores de tiempo, the for and since. Ustedes los habían visto, los habían estudiado, no? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes, yes I studied all right, so do you remember how they are going to be used? Ustedes lo recuerdan cómo se van a utilizar or not? I forgot. You have forgotten. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Not a problem. That's really fine. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Está bien, entonces no hay problema. Y vamos a hacer algo. Muy bien, ya casi están. Perdónenme que I've been um, extremely busy. It's been a tough days, this one. And there's been lots of stress for me. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Freaking 12. Day 12. Okay. So let's see. I'm ready. Thank you so much for your waiting time. Gracias por su tiempo y por dejarme saber su background con respecto a eso. Okay, so this is the document that I have is loading the screen at the moment. There we go. Now you should be able to see it. Are you able to see it? Lo pueden ver? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. So we are going to study the first three of them, which is four things and a go. Those ones are the ones that we have. You got to notice that they are similar, but they are not the same, right? And sometimes you might get confused on how to use them and which one is the correct to use, right? So we are going to determine which one is going to be the correct to use and in which cases you can use each of them. ¿Qué tenemos acá? Tenemos, vamos a estudiar los primeros tres. Four scenes and ago. ¿verdad? Luego nos vamos con los siguientes. En el caso de four scenes y ago, se nos dice que son similares, pero no son iguales. ¿Verdad? Entonces, a veces puede haber una confusión en cuál utilizar y cuál no. Y eso es lo que nosotros vamos a ver ahorita. ¿Verdad? So, in this case, right, uh, to be honest, for and since they are used in the present perfect, which marks something in the past, right? So they are going to be used for something that happens in the past, right? So acá nosotros tenemos for y since. En el caso de for y since, por lo general, ellos marcan un tiempo en el pasado. Se ven más que todo en los perfectos, en el tiempo perfecto. Entonces, ellos se utilizan para eso, para marcar un punto en el pasado. So, for, como ustedes pueden ver acá, ¿verdad? For, déjenme hacerlo más grande porque creo que esto está pequeño. Lo pueden ver así, are you able to see it like this? ¿Lo logran ver? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Sí, porque si no, en vano trabaja la hormiga. Si no, 
si no los miran, no, no nos ayuda mucho. Este, for, right? So, what we were saying, for is used for the past, right? So, this one, it says that they are using in a specific period of time, right? It's given us some example, one week, three hours, five years, right? It doesn't matter. It's just only for a period of time, a specific period of time, right? You got some examples. I have been working on my homework for two hours, right? So since the two hours has passed, one hour has passed, and he's continued working on his homework, right? And a specific period of time. Father has been sick for a week, right? Tom has been attending college for three years. She's been waiting, right, for the bus for a long time, right? So in a specific period of time, that it will be for use, right? En este caso tenemos for, y for va a ser por un periodo de tiempo en específico. ¿Qué tanto tiempo? No importa. Ustedes, como pueden ver, tienen acá eh, un par de time markers que nos dice una semana, tres horas, cinco años, etc. Entonces, tenemos otros ex ejemplos ahí. Dice que he estado trabajando o esta persona ha estado trabajando o ha estado haciendo su tarea por dos horas. ¿Cuánto tiempo? Ya tiene dos horas de estar sentado la persona allí, ¿verdad? Entonces, ese es el periodo de tiempo en específico que va a utilizar for. Teacher, pero mire, aquí, ¿dónde está en el PAS? Sí está en el PAS porque estas dos horas ya nos pasaron, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo que les decía, se van a ver reflejados más que todo en los perfectos. Este es un present perfect continuous, ¿verdad? Una actividad que comienza en un periodo de tiempo en el pasado, porque hace dos horas, ¿verdad? Podemos decir, eran las seis de la tarde. No, yo no tengo mucho uso de eso, perdónenme si me equivoco. Y probablemente esta persona sigue sentada allí, ¿verdad? Ya pasaron dos horas y media. Entonces, es algo que empieza en el punto en el pasado y continúa hasta en el presente. Y este for nos marca el momento exacto que esto empezó en el pasado, hace dos horas. This one, uh, for a week, as you might be able to see here, right? For a week. How long? A week, right? So we can say, uh, this person start feeling bad. What? Um, let's say that on Tuesday, Wednesday, last week. So he has been like this for a week, for an entire week, right? So in the past and continuous in the present. And this four marks the exact time where this started in the past. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que pasa acá? Digamos, ¿verdad? Que esta persona ha estado enferma desde el miércoles pasado. Para el día de hoy, ya tiene una semana, siete días, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿desde cuándo empezó a sentirse mal? Desde el miércoles pasado, eso está en el pasado. Entonces, este for nos marca el momento exacto que fue la semana pasada que esta persona está enferma. ¿Continúa enferma ahorita? Probablemente sí, continúa enferma ahorita. Entonces, tenemos acá el siguiente. Thomas has been attending college for three years, right? So, this one, same thing, right? As you might be able to see, present perfect, continuous, right? Este es un continuo. Otra vez tenemos un presente perfecto continuo. ¿Continúa Tomás o Tom yendo al college? ¿Sí o no? Yes. Yes. Continúa. Yes, teacher. Exacto. ¿Y cuándo comenzó esto? Dice que hace tres años, ¿verdad? So, entonces, desde ese punto, en el primer año que comenzó, ahora con esto ya tiene tres años. Entonces, el tiempo en específico en el pasado. Este, for long time, ¿verdad? Por mucho tiempo, ¿qué tanto? Pues difícil de saberlo. Solo nos está diciendo que esta persona ha estado parada ahí por mucho tiempo, ¿verdad? No tenemos el específico, pero sí le da un marcador que ya a estas alturas ya habrán pasado unas sus tres horas de esta persona ahí, ¿verdad? Esperando el autobús. 
Entonces, eso sería el uso para fork. Después de fork, ustedes van a tener un marcador de tiempo o un tiempo específico, ¿verdad? Usted lo utiliza. Entonces, ese es el fork, que es lo que nosotros tenemos acá en nuestro Gamer Focus. <coughs> ¿A dónde está? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? Fork, this one. You see. So, how long were the Beatles together? Right, the question. For 10 years. Como ustedes pueden ver acá, 10 años. En el pasado y se detuvo, ¿verdad? Porque ellos eh, se separaron, si no tengo pues, eh, mal uso de mi razón, ¿verdad? So, there you go. For 10 years. Esto es más que todo cuando les hacen preguntas. Si usted quiere dar un marcador de tiempo en específico, simple y sencillamente, en lugar de contestar todo, dice usted, for 10 years, for 2 hours. For two weeks. No es necesario dar toda la oración, sino que solamente ese marcador de tiempo. ¿Les va a servir para escribir? Sí, son bastante útiles para escribir y para pues, ahorrar un poquito de espacio. No sé si ustedes tienen preguntas hasta acá. Teacher, sí. um, the, uh, the examples and the end, she's, she's being waiting for the for the bus uh, she's has no yes it will be she has uh, <clears throat> yes so what happened here it is that is contracted lo que pasa aquí um, es que contractado okay Entonces, eh, i know It generates kind of confusion. Yo sé, genera un poquito de confusión. Porque también es la contracción de... Uh, she is, she is contraction. She. Is, is con, con, contraction um, has. She's. She's. Lo que sucede es de que este se ve en la contracción, se ve como este, como el de she is. Pero en realidad es el she has. Right? Este es presente perfecto continuo, el que nosotros okay. tenemos. Ajá. Hey, teacher, thanks. You're welcome. La contracción del presente perfecto, ¿verdad? Con el have y el has, se parecen a las contracciones del, del is. Entonces hay que tener cuidado en las terceras personas. Yes. Sí, yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, teacher, excuse me. Service um, is for short answers. For or what? No, for short answers. Um, si nos sirve para dar respuestas cortas. El esto el for. for o esto, uh -huh. la contracción. No, 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 la, la, el for. El for. Sí, uh -huh. el for es solamente Porque no es para muy específico. No, no es tan específico. Es como que a usted le pregunten, how long have you, how long have you been waiting? For the, for the bus, por ejemplo. ¿Qué tanto ha estado esperando o cuánto has estado esperando por el bus? Um, y usted mira su reloj for a couple of hours, por un par de horas, ¿verdad? Okay. Entonces, eh, no es necesario, I've been waiting and so on. Entonces, ellos van a responder casi siempre a la pregunta, how long is the for? ¿Qué tanto, oh, qué tanto for, tiempo? For a long time. Ajá, o oh, for long time. Uh -huh. okay. For long time. Ahí ya se puede hacer la persona una idea. Pues yo llegué a las 10 y 15. Eso quiere decir que esta persona ya estaba aquí quizás desde las 8. ¿verdad? Okay. Entonces, Eso uno se hace decir la que idea. ya no va a pasar el bus. No, ya no. Paro de bus. <risa> Uber. Uber. <risa> call the Uber. Yeah. Let's do carpooling. Compartamos el Uber, ¿verdad? Let's do carpooling. Yes. So, aquí les apelo a su, a su contexto, ¿verdad? A su contexto. Porque, eh, como ustedes pueden fijar, eh, las preguntas son, when did and how long? Entonces, ellos, eh, por lo general, van a responder a este tipo de preguntas en el pasado. When did y how long? Entonces, usted puede dar simple y sencillamente esta pequeña respuesta que es en realidad lo que anda buscando la persona, ¿verdad? Entonces, es naturalidad 
aunque escribiéndolo gramáticamente no estaría correcto porque se tendría que dar toda la oración ¿verdad? gramaticalmente hablando. Pero esto ya es más talking, ¿verdad? Eh, hay que asegurarnos que nos van a pedir que produzcamos, ¿verdad? Leyendo indicaciones o preguntando realmente para así no, no tener un problema. Pero en una plática natural, ustedes pues van a decir lo que yo le decía, how long have you been waiting? Um, for a couple of hours, por un par de horas, ¿verdad? For 10 minutes from now, or for 15 minutes since now, right? Desde ahorita, por ejemplo. So, esos son los, eso sería como que el, la clave de lo que ustedes van a contestar, si van a contestar con esto. Entonces, es este when, que es el cuando, ¿verdad? Que es el cuando. Y se pueden guiar de la otra que es take place, que toma lugar, ¿verdad? Toma lugar. Por ejemplo, este take place is more for history facts, right? Es más para hechos históricos, ¿verdad? En el mismo caso de how long, si usted está buscando como que un periodo de tiempo en específico, ¿verdad? Que está que le den. Entonces, acá es como que solamente le dice, mira, en qué momento, ¿verdad? Que sea comenzó o terminó, ¿verdad? O como usted quiera dar la oración, porque aquí pueden ver, tenemos pues during, in, and above. Tenemos esos, nos faltan ver esos. Así que aquí están. Eh, ya se nos acabó el tiempo, perdonen ahí. Mañana vamos a seguir para terminar esta parte y vamos a tener una pequeña práctica. Voy a intentar que hagamos una práctica escrita en donde vamos a utilizar for, ago, or since, ¿verdad? Eh, ya casi termina su módulo, ¿verdad? Eh, mañana miércoles es el penúltimo día, jueves es el último y ustedes ya habrán finalizado su avanzado 3, ¿verdad? Así que muchas Good felicidades, teacher. echarle gana. ¿Mande? Eh, avanzado 2. Ah, sí, cierto, el avanzado 2. <risa> ustedes van para el 3, yeah. sí. Sí. Así que, pues, muchas felicidades, ¿verdad? Y ahora, pues, procedamos todos a mimir, <ríe> a descansar <ríe> para mañana. Espero sí, sí, sí. verlos. Descansen, sí. vayan a cenar sí. si no lo han hecho. Y cualquier cosa a la orden en WhatsApp. You take sí. care, okay? Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.